Hey guys, this week's tip is aimed at making some of those hard to find or seldom used reports a little bit easier to find when you do need them. So I was at a trade show this past week and a retailer stopped by the booth and he had some questions about some of his reporting needs. He couldn't find some of the reports that he wanted to work with, so I was able to help him locate those. And then he asked me, isn't there an easier way just to save these somewhere so I don't have to dig through the menus? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to put these saved reports, the ones that you don't use that often, and the ones that are just a little bit hard to find, out in a preferred pr report space, or basically in a saved drawer for you. Uh, we've done these in videos in the past, but we've never done a specific video just to show you how to do this. So that's what we're going to do right now. So the screen here is just a layer of SMS Pro, a blank canvas, and SMS right behind it here. And the reason I'm doing that in this particular case is because everybody was taught differently how to access their reports. I was taught differently than you, and the guy down the street from me was taught differently than me and you. So I want to show you how this tool set can help you manage no matter how it is that you were trained and how you access the reports. So let's dive into this. I'm going to hop into the reports section of SMS Pro and you typically get a setup just like this with preferred reports. This is actually where we're going to save that hard to find report so we don't have to drill down through these menu keys over here. In this specific case, the customer wanted to see a report that was just a summary of vendor activity for a given week. He wanted to see things like, oh, you know, receipts and orders and he wanted to see information such as cost and retail and margin on the sheet. So that report exists, it's under the vendor section, inventory category, and the one that we found that just worked the best because it was a summary is right down here near the bottom here, vendor invoice recap. I'm going to go ahead and run it, I'm going to run mine for a month so I get some data. And as you can see, what this report is doing is breaking out by vendor, by sub-department in this case, the various activities. So we've got some receipts on here, some orders on here, it's shown cost, retail, and margin. So that's the report that this particular customer wanted to see on a weekly basis. He just wanted it to be a little bit easier to find. So I'm going to hop right back here to the menu, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to make it real easy to find. So to add this particular report to the preferred reports page, it's really simple to do. You just go into the report like you're going to set up criteria and actually run the report. But instead of launching, come up here and hit the Add button. And what we're going to add it to is the preferred report task. It's already highlighted for us by default, so if it's not, just go ahead and highlight it and click OK. Now where we want to stick it is on preferred reports, and that's when we hit this button up here, that report page that comes up, that summary, that's what that is. The rest of this stuff, depending on how you go and find your reports, is just other locations within SMS. So as an example, for selling general reports, this one right here, look back here in SMS. Let me pull it up. Right here it is, selling general reports. If I hit that menu, if that's the way you go find those general sales reports, you see a screen like this. By clicking this and OK, it will add that report that we just looked at down here on the list. Now, all these options are available. You can see I can go to the Manage tab, the Buy tab. All I have to do in SMS is decide where I go for my reports, and that's where this stuff is going to show up. So it makes it kind of easy. In our scenario, though, I'm going to go ahead and just stick it on the preferred reports, select OK, and now it's going to be added. When this grid comes up, the best thing for you to do is just remember that these categories here are just operator levels. So it allows certain folks to see access to this report that are logged in. So if you want to bar the access, just go ahead and adjust these as necessary. Otherwise, you're good to go from this point if all these people are applicable to see this particular report. So you can close out of this, and I'll close out of the report structure as well, get back to a blank SMS Pro, and to show you it worked, I'll go into the reports menu again, and voila, right there it is, vendor invoice recap. In doing so, the customer also asked, what if I want to remove some of these other reports up here, or I made a mistake and added one that I want, I actually don't want there. Well, that's real easy to do. In fact, I'll go right back here to the blank canvas. Go to the reports section again, you'll be right back to re preferred reports. Come to this white area right down here, right click, edit panel. It's going to bring us back to that grid that we were at there when we added the report. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, double click in here to select that report so that we have it here. It's vendor invoice recap, that's the one we want to delete. Once it's showing down here in this section, all we have to do, come right over here to the right hand side, hit delete. It's going to have a confirmation and voila, there you go. Now we can X out. X out of this because we have to refresh that screen. If we go back into the reports, you'll see that that vendor invoice recap is now not there. Simple as that. All right, so there's one other piece that I want to show you. It might be easier for some folks to handle it this way versus sticking it in preferred reports. So I'm back at that same report that we were looking at and working on before, the vendor invoice recap. I'm going to drill down like we're going to go ahead and set this up. And in fact, I'm going to set mine up for a month so that I can ensure I get some data in my demo here. I'm going to set it up to group by sub-department. And if I wanted to pick my vendors and stuff, I could do that now. 
Instead of saving it, though, as a preferred report, what I'm going to do is save it so that it shows up back here in SMS on the dashboard, whether I want it in buy, sell, or manage, whatever it is. And I'm actually going to put that report right here in this section, right in the taskbar, and it's going to allow me to execute the report right here. And because it's a weekly report, every single week when that report is populated, it's going to show back up. I'll show you that here in just a second. But every time that I need to run this report, whatever we select back here in Pro, it's going to show up right here on this tab. So let's go back into Pro. I'm going to click the Add button again, and this time, instead of Preferred Report, I'm just going to hit Task. Hit OK. That's going to pop up a new window. Now, I can rename this description if I want. I'm also going to say what operator I'm going to log in as to see this back here on my dashboard, and then what tab I want to stick it on. I want to go ahead and just stick mine on the Manage tab. I want it to recur every week, and it's going to start to, uh, here today. And then once I go ahead and hit Done on this, Watch what happens. When I come back here, i got to refresh this. You can see the vendor invoice recap report is right here. I can modify those settings if that's what I want to do, or I can simply hit execute. It's going to run that report, and here's the same exact report that we got through the menu tree, only the difference is when I X out this time, that report is now gone. I only am going to view it that one time during the week, and now next week, when the clock rolls back around, I'll see that same little line right here where I can execute it again. So it's just a different way to access a report, execute it right here from the dashboard without having to go all the way through the menu tree. Well, that's it for this week's tip. Hopefully we've given you a few ideas to make those hard-to-find or seldom-used reports just a little bit easier to handle. Until next time, have a great day.